this is Emily for Top Music. This is the place that you come to get actionable and creative solutions for your music studio. Today we're going to look at the Apple MacBook Pro M1 to take a look at what you might need connectivity wise to get it up and running with all of your teaching devices. So Apple came out with this laptop in November of 2020. So it's a recent upgrade and what they changed besides all of the tech on the inside that I'm not going to get into here. We're just going to look at the ports. So they've really changed it up a lot and gone minimalist. On the 2021 MacBook Pros, you only have two ports to deal with and including for power. So these are the oval USB-C type and we have two on this side. And on the other side, super minimalist. All you have is one audio in. This would be like headphone size. Okay, let's compare it to the old MacBook if you're coming from upgrading from your old one, well, you might have been used to. This had so many useful bays and they've gotten a lot slimmer and lighter on the new laptops. So we've lost things like camera card reader and right there, old USB-A on that side and a whole bunch over here. These have all gone away. Uh, they had so many, they had power, a couple USBs and lightning. They did retain that audio. Okay, so let's look at what's gonna change if you're trying to run your online studio and deal with cameras and mics and external monitors and things. You're gonna to need to do a little patchwork. Here's what could save you some time as you're ordering that new computer or getting a couple of components. The first thing you might think about is a dongle that's got USB on one end and then the old A which is the typical one that we are used to on the other end, about $20 for one dongle. And count up all your devices that you're using a lot. And if they're not Bluetooth, you're going to have to order a lot of those. Um, a cheaper and easier solution for that is to order an all in one. So I've got two to show you. We've got this one, Flea Pow, which is an off brand I ordered online. And it's got USB to connect into the computer and then a whole bay. And then I've got my other bigger one. So we've got David and Goliath. Let's look at the smaller one first. This is my daily driver. So I'm using this where I am teaching online and this gets the job done for me and I like it. It's the lightweight one. Yeah, so if space is a priority to you and you're trying to travel around with it or you just don't, you're afraid it might dongle off the side of your laptop, this would be great. Flea Pam. Okay, what you get with this one? One, two, three. USB ports. Note that one of them is a bit different. We've got two 3.0 for high power and one of them is a 2.0. And then I've got a couple of camera reader in case you're putting in a camera card. Pretty infrequent for me for every day. And then at the end, HDMI. So you can connect that external monitor. And that's good to go if you're just needing an overhead camera. So if you've got a Logitech or something like that that's plugging in with the typical USB-A, then that's going to work great for that. Let's say you also have a mic like this one is going to have, it's got a square type. They call that B, USB B. And it goes into your mic or any kind of high powered device like your printers and such. And then the other end of it, unless you've bought a specialty cable, you're going to be able to just plug it into this one. Okay, let's look at the bigger one. What's the difference? They are kind of similar in price. You do pay a little bit more depending on the head count of how many little options there are typically. Okay, S still USB-C oval on one end, and then I've got three USB-A on one side. Really that's what you're using the most a lot of times. Then I've got specialty ones on the other side. Let's take a look. HDMI for that monitor, couple camera bays, and then two USBs, Cs. And those again, that is like you could power your device through it if you wanted or do a pass through. Okay, and my last tip if you do have a favorite camera that you are or microphone that you're using all the time and you don't want the dongle you can just go ahead and upgrade your actual cable and they do sell those so i've got a usb b here and it goes straight into my new m1 laptop if i need to so hope those quick tips about what you're going to need to order saves you a bit of pain from researching all the tech ins and outs. Hey, just before you go, make sure you click here to subscribe and we've got thousands of other videos all on the topic of music education and teaching. So make sure you check out some of those other ones here and I'll see you in the next video.